I busted my butt today. But I'm done. I'm empty. And uh, let me tell you about it a little bit. I, uh, hey, let me get this camera set. It's stable. I left out pretty early and I was running, I realized. So I would get here an hour before they closed, but I had to take a half hour rest break in there and buy fuel and go through Chicago. So there was a lot that could go wrong with that. And uh, fortunately nothing did. I just made up time pretty much the whole way. So it was good. I had to stop for fuel twice. So stop for fuel, filled up the DEF pump, diesel exhaust fluid was broken. I always fill up when we have, I have two bars, there's four bars on the little display. As soon as it gets down to two, I fill it up. And I thought, oh shoot, you know, get it later. Well, no sooner do I get back in the truck and going, it goes down to one bar. And I've still got to go, you know, you know, 400 miles today. So I thought, so I stopped again later when I took my half hour break up in Michigan and got the fuel and then, uh, and then got some, or got some def, and then took my break then. So that worked out pretty good. So what happened is I rolled in here, and I have, uh, you can see up in the upper right, two hours and seven minutes I can drive. And that's also on the 11 hour driving line. My 14 hour clock, I have three hours and 23. So I could sit here for an hour and, you know, you know, some odd minutes and uh, not take my drive line down at all. That's why I can afford to sit here and, and do this for a little bit because it's good to stop. Because I pulled right in, and, pulled in. Uh, and this is a really unusual little spot up here. It's very tiny. You pull straight forward, come in off you. that road down there and you're driving along. And then you come here and you see the sign there it says, attention truckers, pull forward and then back in. You basically back into the spot that I'm backed into here, and then you uh, continue. You can see it, but straight back in there, and uh, then they unload you the steel bar with the forklift, which is uh, smaller than it I often see. So it's kind of interesting, but they get it done. And of course, it's always good when you can do that in one shot without a pull-up, especially when there's other drivers around. Always remember that. Always a good idea. So anyway, what I did was I, uh, I unloaded no tarp, you know, four chains, two straps. Uh, re my headache rack got all jumbled up when I was driving because all my coil pads were out of it. So I uh, rearranged that and I was done. Very good. So I have a new assignment. I had a pre-plan come in as soon as I showed that I had arrived which is so awesome, and they're taking care of me. I am up there in the, up where the yellow thing is. I'm up north of Detroit, a little town called Romeo. I came in on 69, which you can see kind of, only a little bit of it right by the G in Lansing. And uh, I came across that way. But I am going to go pick up my load down in Butler, Indiana, where I've been. That's down here, and uh, that's the corner of Indiana right there. And this is Ohio, and this is uh, Michigan up here. So now I've got Detroit there. It is 3.15 in the afternoon. The most direct way would be to go right down through. I've got two hours on my clock. It will take me three hours and 50 minutes if I go the blue route to get there. So there's no way I'm going to get down there to uh, the shipper tonight. So what I'm going to do is uh, look instead for where I want to park within two hours. A nice place. And then uh, head there. And then in the morning uh, I can be there early because they open at 7. And, you know, I like to get up early. I load is uh get my little notebook here so 166 miles deadhead it pays and uh my loaded miles are 391 i pick it up tomorrow on the 23rd that is uh friday the 23rd 
Yes. And take it home. And then I deliver this on the 27th, which is Tuesday. So I have a, a good long weekend with Christmas. I was a little worried I'd have to drive Monday. I could drive Monday, Monday night. Uh, I'm going to deliver this in uh, Granite City, Illinois. It's about five hours from my home. Um, I may sacrifice that five hours for next week in the name of um, Christmas and the holiday because it's uh, it'll depend on what's going on with my wife and uh, other family and all that. So I don't mind. But I'm getting a coil. It's going to weigh uh, 45,520, just one. Tarp, of course, no problem. Um, I like loading out of there, so it'll go well. So I'm going to spend a little time researching, and uh, I'll touch base later. And if I don't talk to you again because I get negligent, happy holidays, season's greetings, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, happy solstice, which was yesterday, and happy New Year. Well, it's Friday morning, and I'm up in... Uh, in Butler, Indiana, going home. I got loaded here, and I, before I tarp this thing, I thought I would uh, give you a look at it, just so you can see what's going on here. This is pretty much a standard shotgun coil load. Um, in fact, there's a Maverick truck going by out there, has one tarped, he's leaving out. I'll, uh, I'll go up top and uh, walk you around it a little bit. The shotgun coils need to have cross chains. So they originate on one side, go through the eye, out the back, and to the other side. And notice how these are stacked crisscrossing. Um, typically, I put on the first set, which is the uh, lower set first and then put them in my uh, edge protectors so they hold the top one in place when I go to tighten it. I like to use ratchet binders when I do these because then what I can do is I can, I can do the bottom two, go back and forth getting them tight, and then I can throw the top two, and then I can go back and make sure all four are tightened up. And you couldn't do that with an over center. Now you can see I have a trip chain on the front. This, this is a coil block chain. So we got the coil, we got the blocks, and then we got the chain. And of course I secure the, the, uh, the binder with a bungee. We load our, our uh, four by four, eight foot timbers to make our cradle. I'll show you the rest of that in a second down below. The back side looks a lot like the front side except I don't have a uh, coil block chain. If this was a slitted coil, um, I would. And uh, you can see the boards just kind of stick out the back. Don't worry about them. The tarp will cover everything. Uh, the main thing is to have good edge protectors. You get the edge protectors and the chain at the right angle, it all works really smooth. So, lastly, what we do is we throw straps over our load and I I mean by weight you are required to have a certain number of securement if I've got a big uh, shotgun coil I don't care how big it is actually I do it this way now if I have more than one you can't obviously but uh, I try to do it this way so we have one two three four five, six, seven securements on this load. On the front here, I load my first chain here so it's just off the front of the coil. So when I have them place the coil, it's all based on going into this spool and back. And I lay my friction mat, which you can't really see too well here but the friction mat is the black piece of rubber that's on the deck of the truck. I lay that so the front edge 
I tell them to put the coil right at the front edge of that friction mat. Trip chain also has a number one hookup. Try to go for number one hookups. We call them number one because, I don't know, we have one and two. Um, they're both equally good. And then wherever you fall in the back, you do a number one or two. Here I did a number two. If I had brought this chain here in behind this spool, I would be hitting the coil with it. So I have to move back to this pocket and then I get them as close to the coil as I can. You can see I put down uh, coil racks, the metal kind of triangular shapes there that hold the boards. Put six of them in, that gives, makes me good for 48,000 pounds. This uh, weighs about 40, like six something. I forgot already, it's on my bills. But I just, if, if we uh, secure for this amount, we're covered. So that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start to uh, tarp this thing so I can go home. And uh, it's pretty early, they got me in fast. I'm happy with that. I'll deliver this on Tuesday. You all have a happy holiday and a great weekend.